Hey guys, it is me, Red, from Red Moon Wicca, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do a altar tour, because it's been a while since I've done an altar tour, and I feel like it is well above due. I feel bad that I haven't done one in a while. I've kind of been away because I haven't been creatively there. I'll make a whole video about kind of where I've been, an update video, and, you know, what's been happening. Um... But I I think I'm back. I'm pretty sure I'm back. You know, I say that a lot and then I go away. But now I have tools to be creative again. So, you know, I'll most likely, you know, be here for a long time. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys my altar tour. Welcome to my 2020 altar. Um, first off, I'm going to go from the middle and kind of work my way around. Um, first off, I would like to say that this is a handmade pentagon, pentagram that I made. Not the charm that's on top of it, but I made this little pentacle pentagram um, in ceramic class when I was in high school. I'm 25 now, so it's very old. <laughs> um, over here... I have my pillar candles. I have my god and goddess right over here. And then I have a spirit one where I call up my ancestors. And then this one is a black candle. So I light that sometimes to ward away negative energies that I might have if I have a little bit of excess. Or if I just need to get rid of like some bad, you know, stuff. Um, over here is like the only Christian thing that I have on here, and that's because it is my Uncle Dennis's, um, little card that I have. Um, and then I have like a little bit of oil right over there that for spell work. Over here I have a candle from Crow Saven Corner all the way in Salem, Massachusetts. I have it in this wonderful bowl that I went and got at a thrift store once. And this bowl has been one of the OGs that, you know, I had had since my um, first couple of years of being a pagan. So it's kind of, you know, a staple for my altar. Over here in this bowl, I have a um, black egg, agate, black, uh, I can't say gemstone names. I have the hardest time. A black egg, 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 <laughs> um pendulum. And then I have it in this lovely bowl that my sister bought for me for, um, for Yule a couple, like this year. Um, and then over here, I have an incense burner. I usually put this one out during, you know, the summer months because it just reminds me of the summer. I have a little cone incense there just chilling, waiting to be used. Um, I have a sage stick in my cauldron. And then I have my wand right over here. I got this at Chicago Pagan Pride. Um, I love it so much. Even though it's just, like, a stick, like, I felt really connected to it. Very connected to wood for some stupid reason. <laughs> but I picked it up and I felt the energy and I knew it was my wand. <laughs> um, over here I have a candle that represents fire. By the way, my incense holder is my element for air. Over here is a... Um, little jar of sand and a little seashell in there. It represents earth to me, so it stays there. <laughs> um, over here is my athame, which is a gift given to me by a friend. Um, and then over here I have just a random tea light candle. I like to have candles illuminate my whole thing, so wherever there's a blank space I put a candle pretty much. Um, over here is some seashells and some water. This is from the last time I went to the beach with my family, um, which was a long ass time ago. So I keep it in there because it gives me good memories and I love it so much. Over there I have another tea light candle. And then over here I have a bunch of gemstones, a lot of crystals. I have a arrowhead. I found that somewhere. I don't remember, but I like to have it on there. I have a sugar skull for uh, Dia de los Muertos because 
it reminds me of the dead and I like to work a lot with like you know ancestors and um deceased people I like to not conjure up deceased people but I like to you know ask them for advice and stuff like that um, pretty much that's what it represents for me, and I like it. This was a gift given to me by my dad's girlfriend. It's a little witch hat. It's just something, you know, fun to have on my altar. Behind, or underneath here, I have a crystal ball that I got from Salem, Massachusetts. I just kind of keep that covered because I heard that sometimes it, those could give, like, a magnifying glass effect, and I'm not about to burn it on my house. I already almost did that doing witchcraft once, and I'm not about to do it again. Um, I have a little candle snuffer right over here because I'm a big believer of snuffing out your candles and not um, blowing them out because it's obviously not a, a good thing to blow out your candles when you're doing, you know, your craft and stuff. And then right over here is a gift given to me by one of my best friends. Actually, the best friend that I've ever had. Um, she's my goon. She is my homegirl. She's my ride or die. And she made this for me for Yule. And I love it. That's Carboninium. <laughs> Again, I can't say crystal names. Uh, if I'll put it here. Here. Um, and I like it. And it like gives me good energy. It gives me good vibes whenever I look at it. And I love it so much. Um, down here is my little traveling altar, and I keep that there because sometimes I will, you know, have it down over here if I want to sit down and do my rituals and stuff like that. Sometimes I stand up, sometimes I sit down. Pretty much it's like whatever, you know, I feel comfortable I do. Um, right over there is a full moon candle that I use for full moon rituals. And then also the altar cloth is actually one of those, like, things for Halloween. It was in Walmart during Halloween times. And it's one of those things that you kind of drape over, you know, stuff. But I liked it so much as, like, an altar thing. And plus it gives me, like, that witchy vibe that I like. And, yeah. This is my 2020 altar, and I like it so much, and I love it so much, and I'm connected to everything on this thing. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if so, subscribe to my channel. If you are watching this on Facebook, follow this page. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys very soon. Blessed be, until we meet again.